Okay, I got a few minutes. Uh, the wife's sitting at the kitchen table with the youngins. Bible study and all. Let's talk about the Ukraine for a minute. It seems to be like there's a lot of people out there that are actually supporting uh, Russia, which to me is absolutely crazy. So let's talk about what I absolutely know, to be fact, beyond the fog of war. What scares me the most about this is that uh, so far what I've seen is uh, Russia has invaded the Ukraine, and uh, the reasons for that, it doesn't really matter. The one thing I can absolutely tell you for sure is the aggressor cannot be allowed to profit. Now, uh, Vladimir Putin is not that all dissimilar to Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler came to power, eh, I leave all the Jew stuff out, but he came to power promising to make Germany great again. Vladimir Putin came to power in the USSR, uh, well, in Russia now, uh, with the same promise. He's going to restore the USSR. Now, Belarus so far hasn't made a move, which is kind of weird because Belarus is a staunch ally of Russia. Here's what's going to happen, okay? So far, and this is a fact, if you dig a little bit you can find it for yourself Russia has invaded the Ukraine with their National Guard these are not frontline troops you can watch and you can see they bunch up heck some of them are even wearing tennis shoes from what I've seen they're very poorly trained we would call it a National Guard I think they call it the home defense the reason they've marked their tanks like that is because each one of them is a separate division. They're bogged down. They cannot uh, move forward. What really scares me the most about this is absolutely the fact that we haven't seen Russians ar Russia's army yet. Their hardcore, well-trained army, we haven't seen it. Now, if you take to like modern times for instance uh joseph stalin killed way more of his own people way more of his own people than hitler killed jews and that's just a fact okay uh eh, my glasses are out here but uh so it doesn't matter if, if hitler who was the lesser of two evils invaded russia for whatever reason uh, Russia was still invaded by a foreign country. Therefore, Russia was absolutely in the right. All right? For some reason, we have people nowadays that are actually, there's one uh, brigade. What had happened when uh, Russia came into the Dunbar region? There was a group of fellas, they're Nazis. So what? They're kind of like the Proud Boys, actually. And uh, they fought. And they're still fighting. So they uh, brought them into the Ukrainian army. They have freedom of speech in the Ukraine. Something not so much here in America. But uh, if you look at what he's doing, the fact that he hasn't used his real army, all right, Belarus has not made any movement into the Ukraine so far. You put all of this together, if he can easily take the Ukraine, he will absolutely make a move on Poland. And it's not just me that thinks this. Every single country in Europe is bracing for this. Every single one of them are beefing up the forces, they're moving them around, and they're getting ready because this is more than likely what's gonna happen. Now having said that, if we had a president with a little bit of balls he would just put a no-fly zone in and you know it's pretty much game over from there on out but you know so far he's not going to do that but uh i mean yeah that's pretty much what's going to happen all right now having said all of that i don't believe we should be in europe at all the european countries do business 
with Russia. They've been doing business with Russia for years. So literally, we are paying to defend Europe from someone they do business with. I think ugh, we should just get the heck out of there. But having said that, it's gone too far now, so we shall see. Anyhow, that's just my opinion. And uh, feel free to disagree. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.